people, this is what I've got to rent about today because of the holiday. Now before I say this, I need to state a disclosure. This is in, in my opinion in this is in no way, shape, or form reflective of any fire department in the area. And it's not reflective of the opinion of the fire department that I belong to. It is just my own personal opinion and rant. With that being said, as you know, especially on holiday weekends, um, it's a big fundraising time, Memorial Day. And uh, we do boot traps. And that's where we stand outside in the traffic with the boot and ask you for your money. Give me money. And uh, you know, one thing how some, some of these people don't seem to understand is, you know, here in Pennsylvania, we don't have a fire tax in our area don't get funding from the state or from local municipalities. We don't get the funding from your taxes. We apply for grants from the federal government and the state, which grant money comes from uh, revenues all over the state, not just your own local area. But we don't get money directly. It's not like we automatically get money. Again, with that being said, the one thing I can't stand is people, first of all, who don't know how to drive, okay? You're standing out there, you have the area marked, there's cones and everything, alerting people. Now the speed limit in the business district of Hamlin, or you can say downtown Hamlin, is 35. You get these yam bags racing through with the out of state plates. While you're there, standing by this road, just zooming past you, I am surprised over the years that nobody's gotten killed from this. That's for starters. Like, if PSP wants to make money, the state should just, like, stay literally right there by the parking lots or something and just clock the people going through town doing, you know, 50 and a 35 or something. Especially if we're standing out there with the cones and everything alerting you, and you should be slowing down because the caution. Another thing is, the lanes in town, you have a two feet leeway on both sides of your lane. So from the yellow line, you have a two feet leeway towards the right. From the white line on the right, you have a two feet leeway towards the left. Then you have the shoulder, which is another approximate two feet. You see us there, and these dingleberries literally start coming towards you. Like, they, they like move over a little bit. You know, is it going to hurt you to go over to the right a little bit? You've got two feet more, of, actually you have more than that. Technically, you know, you're, you're here practically riding the yellow line, when you can actually move over almost, say, five feet safely and still be a foot away from the side of the road instead of practically running us over. I can't tell you how many times you see yourself, you find yourself, and we're not standing right there by the line, by the yellow line, granted. We have to move back more because these morons just start coming at you. And the best is when they do it at a higher speed because they don't seem to be coordinated enough to get through something like that at all. I don't understand what people's problem is. What, why do you have to rush through there, right there, where the cones and everything are set up? Move the hell over, people. So seriously, people, move the hell over. What's the issue? I don't, I don't understand it. Are you that incapable of driving? Is that what it is? You're not capable of driving at all? Because that's just what it seems like, that you are just are not capable of driving. Really. Seriously. And it, it's just like, you know, not even there. I mean, again, lunatic season, because it's the start of lunatic season. 
lunatic season in my area is when uh, you get all these weekenders that come up that are fortunate enough to have second homes or third homes and they come up from the city with their attitude and infiltrate the area and drive with their fist not one not two but two fists and half a leg up their ass there i said it that's exactly what a lot of these people from the city are doing when they come up they just cannot drive i don't get it you could drive on the lie the bqe you could drive on the Bruckner expressway you could drive on the cbe but you can't drive on like a 30 or 40 mile per hour i i it amazes me absolutely amazes me then you get the yam bags that on the back roads act like it's the indy 500. hats off to uh mr ferrari mr uh porsche the boxster i believe and the gentleman with the lotus who every year every season zoom down what do you what are you trying what are you racing to so that you you'll get to your house what two three maybe five minutes faster Ooh, you got to your house a little bit faster what fucking yam bags really I, I i wish i had tire spikes to throw out there to slow them the hell down because freaking morons that you, you because you have money you know you i i, I don't know i it's the whole you, you hear them sometimes in the store. You, you hear them in some of the restaurants and that. Some of them talk like if it wasn't for them, and they all come out and say this, that this area, that they are, our area exists because of them. If it wasn't for them, that our area would basically fold up and die. Literally. I've heard them say stuff like this. What freaking yam bags. You know what? We don't get your money anyway. Because you're too damn cheap anyhow. Incredible. Now my blood pressure is up. And it'll go stay up from the start of lunatic season until lunatic season ends in September. So slow the hell down, you friggin' yam bags. And when we're, when we're out there, not only for when we're doing things to get donations, but also when we're out there, you know, working an accident scene, Slow the hell down, you friggin' yambags! I'm Frank the Lunatic, I'm aggravated, and that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.